This week I happen to be sitting in Rome, which is very appropriate for our study, as we look at lesson number 12, Babylon and Armageddon, in our series on preparation for the end time. And both these terms, Babylon and Armageddon, are code words used to describe the perspectives that are very relevant here in this end time scenario. Babylon, of course, is referring to the ancient city of Rome, where I am right now. And this was used by those early Christians to describe this persecuting power that they experienced. John uses it there in Revelation. You see all the text there in our study for this time. Peter also uses it. He says when he's writing his first epistle, I'm writing from Babylon. In other words, I'm writing from Rome. And Babylon, of course, is this representation of apostate religion. It's not only there in Babylon, but goes back to the Tower of Babel, same derivation, same perspective of a do-it-yourself religion opposed to that of God. And so when you read Babylon, read apostate religion, the one that's opposed to God. In fact, it goes back to Lucifer, the one who rebelled against God in the great controversy. So that perspective comes in there again. And when it comes to Armageddon, Again, that is referring back to an Old Testament perspective. Armageddon really means the mountain of Megiddo. Well, there's no actual mountain called that. The mountain that's in Megiddo, near Megiddo, is Mount Carmel. And that takes you, of course, to the story there in 1 Kings chapter 18 of Elijah confronting the priests of Baal. We have that there in our study for this time. The mention is made of Armageddon and Mount Carmel and how Elijah challenged those priests of Baal, the apostate religion, once again, to say, well, you prove, if you can, that your God is there. Is he awake? Maybe he's sleeping. Try and call on him. And when Elijah calls on God, of course, the fire falls, the sacrifice is burned up, and God is demonstrated to be the true God. This is the true religion that Elijah is following. So when we look at Babylon and Armageddon for our study for this time, it's very important to recognize these Old Testament images, which are now being used as descriptors in the end time scenario. Babylon is the religio-political power that oppresses this false religious belief system. Armageddon is this end-time final conflict over who is telling the truth, who is right. There's a lot of secular speculation about Armageddon and what it might mean. There's even films as is mentioned there in the lesson notes. But the significant thing is that this is about who God is. It's about religion. It's not some kind of massive army battle that is going to take place uh, there somewhere in the Middle East. It's about who is telling the truth and who is right when it comes to the end time crisis. Is it God or is it the devil? Is it the apostate religion? Is it the true religion? So keep those things in mind as you study carefully these concepts and prepare for these end time perspectives, believing that Jesus will come soon and that we will be home with our Heavenly Father. May we all be there.